All right, everyone, grab some coffee, and today we're going to learn how to use JavaScript's audio class to play some audio in our Angular application. And if you like this kind of stuff, I just learn new things. I come up with things to look up, and then I'm like, hey, that would make a good video. Maybe it's something I look up at work, or maybe it's something I just think about on my own, and I'll make a video about that. And if you like this kind of stuff of me just learning and then sharing it with you as I learn, don't forget to hit subscribe. You guys have been really killing it with subscribers recently and views, and I truly do appreciate it. I just want to show you, um, this is Social Blade. It's just a way for people to look up YouTube stats. In the last 20 or 30 days, rather, we've been up almost 30% in both subscribers and views. Subscribers actually close to 40%. I really do appreciate that, and my, my big goal, you might know if you've heard me say this in a few videos back, is 1,000 subs. And then also in the future, I want to talk about some Angular materials, which is like the bootstrap of Angular. They're predefined uh, objects in Angular and components that you can use so you don't have to create this really good looking table. Um, it's kind of like Bootstrap where they already have that done for you and done the heavy lifting. So if that sounds good, hit subscribe and look forward to that. And today we're going to talk about something that we did similarly in WPF. It was this video right here, how to play sound in WPF when we do something, some kind of event, we'll fire that off. That's what we're going to do in Angular. And I did something very similar. I took, oh, I took a wave file from this website, uh, wavesource.com, and I took a piece from the Alien movie. By the way, if you haven't seen Alien, the original, I don't know if they remade it or not, to be honest with you, but the original was very good, and I recommend you uh, watching that. And this is just our basic demo app where I haven't really been making anything that we'd put on the actual internet. It's just been something for me to test. And so far, we've talked about how do we run the hover event, um, when we listened for certain keys to be pressed, so if I press enter, here comes the pug picture. If I press H, it'll hide it. And today we're going to play that sound. So what I did, I downloaded that WAV file and I put it in this assets directory uh, right here in our source directory. And it's just chilling right here and we're going to reference that when we create our audio object. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and create a button and this button is going to fire off that event when we click on it. And hopefully you're familiar with the click event, but if not, uh, here you go. So I'm going to create a button, say play sound, I guess. And then inside the opening button tag in parentheses, we're going to say click to denote that this is a click event and then whatever we're going to name our method. So I'm going to say play sound is the method that we're going to uh, call when this button is clicked. And then let's give it a little bit of styling just so it looks good. So we can use some bootstrap classes, button and button uh, primary. It looks good, we'll save it. And now uh, we're gonna get an angular error down below. And it'll say, we don't know what this play sound method is that's expected because I haven't defined it yet and it's looking for it. So let's go to the app component TypeScript and Right here, we can go ahead and define this method. So play sound. Uh, we're not gonna return anything. We're not going to also pass in anything. So we can just leave it like this. And we could say let audio, this uh, variable audio equal to a new audio object from JavaScript. And then we could say audio.source is going to be this. This is the source of, in our case, this alien underscore danger wave file. So if we think about what's the relative path from this TypeScript file to this, we actually have to go back a directory. So we're going to the source directory and then we're going to assets and then we're going to alien danger dot wave file. All right. So we're going back to source assets alien danger. And now we can do audio dot load. Let's load up the audio and then audio.play. Pretty simple, but uh, you know it's pretty powerful. We can just play different sounds. And in our case, it's going to be this fun, maybe not so fun when you hear it, but this fun little alien clip. And uh, let me make sure my OBS settings are correct so you can actually hear it coming from the PC, not through my mic. Okay, so I think my sound settings in OBS are good. If not, I'll, I guess, come back to this. But uh, here's the play sound button and listen for 
when I click on this, what happens? Danger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. Okay, so uh, hopefully you heard that. Today we just went over how to play some audio when clicking a button in Angular. And of course, like most things, it doesn't have to be just clicking. It can be even the hover. Maybe after I hover, you can get a woof sound. So the dog woof when he pops up or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you, can, you could probably think of ways to use this, or you probably already have a way and you were just looking, how do I do this? So there you go. Uh, stay tuned for the Angular materials. And yeah, that'll be fun. Hope to see you in the future and thanks so much. Take care.